right, this is Gary Terrioka. He is one of our accurate pro staffers. He's going to show us about this connection we're talking about in this blog this month. Okay, so I'm going to start with an, an accurate Valiant 1000 reel. It has 100 pound solid spectra on it. And what we're going to attach to it is uh, 100 pound fluorocarbon. And we're going to do that by first adding a piece of 135 pound hollow spectra to the end of the solid and to the other end of the hollow spectra, we'll add the 100 pound fluorocarbon. And so the way I do this is I insert it inside and I use a couple nail knots to lock it down. So that's what we're gonna show you what we're doing here. I'm gonna start by using a wire loop needle and I'm going to insert it into the hollow spectra. And this loop needle is going to pull the solid 100 pound uh, test spectra into the hollow 135 spectra. So I'll just get the needle started into the hollow spectra. We'll grab the 100 pound solid in blue here, put it through the eye of the loop, fold it over so that we keep it attached to the loop, and then we start putting it into the hollow spectra. We want to put this in approximately two feet before we lock it down. Okay, so there's our two feet of insertion. Poke the needle out, bring the solid spectra in blue out, and then I'm going to just push and bury the tag into that blue solid, and I'm just going to push the hollow tight to the other end. Here's my two feet of insertion. And now I'm going to put two nail knots right here on this end of the hollow spectra. I have this in yellow here. I have a piece of spectra that I'm going to use as a puller loop. And I happen to be using green spectra here for making the nail knots. And you, you'll see real quickly why I need that puller. So I'm going to do, I'm going to wrap eight to ten turns around the spectra. That's like two wraps there. I'm just changing hands and continue wrapping. Okay. I take the tag in, drop it through the loop. I hold and lock those wraps of green spectra and I pull the tag in through and now I have the rough nail knot. I'm just going to hold on to this and cinch this up real quick. Therefore, my nail knot looks real organized now. It's not tight yet, but I'm going to move it first before it to, to its final position, where I'm moving it to the end of the hollow spectra. And usually you would stop about here if you were pushing a crimp. This is a nail knot. It's supposed to go over the edge a little. And then I'll use these two aluminum rods roll it around the rods to tighten the nail knot spectra. So you can see that that's a light green set of wraps and when I tighten it, it turns translucent, dark green, almost black. That means all the wraps are tight. Okay, so now I just need to trim off the, the excess green spectra. So I hold the rail, uh, the razor blade against the line and I pull the tag end of the spectra. Same thing on the other side. And so now we have one nail knot done and this is the one that transitions from the solid spectra to the hollow spectra. I'll put one more nail knot right here, uh, right behind it. Use my puller loop, my green spectra for the nail knot. Attach it on there. do eight to ten wraps. Drop it through the tag in, hold it, lock it before I pull through. And then let me just sort of tug on the other end. And I'm going to push this all the way up, just about up against the other spectra. I'm going to snug it a little bit here, make it a little bit tighter, and then I'm going to drag it back oh half inch or so. The reason I did that is so that it makes that 
white spectra in between, they're real tight. Tighten the green nail knot spectra here with these rods again. Same thing as the last one. You can see it turned dark green when it gets tight. And we'll trim the tag ends off by holding the razor blade against the line and pulling on the green spectra. All right, so our connection from the solid spectra in blue to the hollow spectra in white is really complete now. And there's two feet inserted between here and here. And so what we're gonna do is, on the uh, other end of this hollow spectra, I'm gonna insert the 100-pound uh, fluorocarbon. So I'll need maybe four feet or so of material here. Let me just cut it off. And so now on this end of the hollow spectra, I'm going to insert the 100-pound fluorocarbon. And so what I've done is basically turned the solid spectra off the reel in blue into hollow spectra. And this will be a very familiar hollow insertion connection. It's just I'm using nail knots. I start by tapering the end of the fluorocarbon so that it has sort of a spear type point to it. That allows me to use a smaller needle. This is more like a 50 pound needle with 100 pound fluorocarbon, but because I have that tapered point on it, like a spear, I can wedge it into the end. You gotta be careful not to pull too hard on this because you can pull that out. But now what I'm doing is I'm using a much smaller needle than a lot of people use. And that makes this part of the job a lot easier because this is like putting 50 pound test line in the hollow spectra instead of 100 pound test. And whenever you're inserting spectra and the needle pops out, just back it up. Um, straighten out the braid and then start moving forward again. And we're doing a similar thing here, inserting the fluorocarbon in roughly two feet and we'll be attaching it with uh, two nail knots at the end. We got just a little bit more to go. All right, so we're pretty close here, at least close enough. So let me just pop it out and put those two nail knots on on the end to finish this connection. So there's the 100 pound fluoro. We'll bury the tag in. We'll drag this spectra nice and tight to the end. Okay, and so we'll put two nail knots right here. Just like we did at the other end of the hollow spectra. Use my yellow pulling loop, the green spectra to make the nail knots. And this is a much easier end to tie it because of the rigidity of the fluorocarbon. Let's, the wrapping of the spectra will go uh, really easy and faster. Again, it's just roughly eight to 10 turns. Pop it through the puller loop at the end, lock it so it doesn't pull off the spectra, pull the tag in through. Just hold it and snug that up. And the same thing we did on that first nail knot on the other side. We bring this nail knot right to the edge of the hollow spectra, basically almost one wrap coming off of the spectra. Put it on these rods to, and pull them tight. second nail knot on. And the exact number of turns is not critical. If you only did six, you'd fine. If you did a little more, that's fine. If you do too many of them, is that they lock up from the ends, that they may not lock completely up. 
So you so the big problem is is not putting too many of them on. Okay. So let me just lock this down. second and final nail not on this end and so that's the connection at that end so it's nice and clean so that it starts on the mono and covers the hollow spectra underneath it that gives you the good transition the real connection starts at this back nail nut uh, you have the option of gluing from this section here to here if you'd like you don't have to it may provide a little additional integrity to the nail knots as it runs in and out of the guides, but either way, glued or unglued, I haven't seen any problems. So, we have the floral connection at this end, in between almost two feet, and then at the other end, we have the solid spectra. So, our blue solid spectra became white hollow spectra, and that connection goes up two feet. Then over here, we have roughly two feet of insertion of the 100 pound floral. So you really have two connections here, both hollow connections. But very clean, goes through the guides without you feeling anything. You can fish any length top shot you want. That's pretty much it. You're ready to go fishing. Tight hook on the other end of the fluorocarbon. Very good. Thank you very much, Gary, for showing us that connection.